the author has endeavored to show the conditions pertaining to different states in a geographic table, and readers are asked to read this carefully in order to grasp clearly the variety of life on each plane before attempting to read the chapter on life after death. He is quite aware that such seemingly matter-of-fact details may be an offense and stumbling block to many minds, especially those of an idealistic temperament. Man's ideas of physical and spiritual states are delusive. It is purely a matter of standpoint as to how these seemingly contrary states shall be judged, for the spiritual world is just as concrete a reality to spirits as the physical earth is a reality to mortals. As a matter of absolute reality, the physical earth is more unreal than the spirit world, and man must begin to readjust his attitude toward this fact. Other minds may find the details a help in enabling them to picture the kind of life experienced by their friends who are now functioning in the spirit spheres. The old idea of heaven was a dead level of experience for the good and another level for the bad. But the new conception pictures all, at various stages of progress, mostly happy and contented, and never left without help and instruction when they desire these at any stage.